The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, has sealed up mansions allegedly traced to the immediate past governor of Anambra State, Willie Obiano, at Ngozika Estate in Okara, the Anambra State capital. The anti graft operatives placed a notice on the properties asking people to keep off the notice reads. EFCC keep off under investigation. Recall that the agency had on March 17 arrested the former governor of Anambra State while on his way to the U.S. His arrest came hours after he handed over to the new governor, Professor Chukuma Charles Soludo. The former governor was arrested for alleged misappropriation of public funds, including 5 billion naira shopee and 37 billion naira security vote, which was withdrawn in cash. Part of the funds was also allegedly diverted to finance political activities in the state. Obiano was placed on the EFCC's watch list a few months before the expiration of his tenure, just as the commission cautioned that the former governor had questions to answer over alleged leads while in office. On March 24, he was granted administrative bail after spending six days in EFCC custody. <music> The Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, has defended the rising cost of living in Nigeria and worsening economic indicators. In an interview on Channel's television, Fashola, who was confronted with a chart showing indices such as a 220% increase in fertilizer prices between 2020 and 2022, decline of the Naira's value by 59.45%, and rise in the cost of cooking gas by 129% within the same time period, stated that the cost of living is not only rising in Nigeria but across the world. He said, I think it is perhaps not helpful to publish that spreadsheet in isolation. What you should do is to compare it with the rest of the world. Tell me anywhere in the world where the cost of living is not rising, whether it is UK or US. Just three days ago, CNN was showing a footage of Americans stealing fuel and they would not be stealing it if it was cheap. These are very challenging times globally for the entire world. So this is not an isolated occurrence that affects Nigeria only. Fashola also insisted that the Nigerian government is responding to the economic challenges. He added, when COVID happened, we responded and put up an economic sustainability committee and we cautioned the impact of the difficult times on Nigeria through a suite of measures. And the impact and result is now there for us to see, he said. A federal high court in Lagos State has ordered the final forfeiture of a vacant plot of land in the Lekki area of Lagos, said to be linked to a former Minister of Petroleum Resources, Mrs. Dazani Alison Madweke. The order was given on Friday, March 25th, by Justice Aketa Yo Aluko, following an application filed by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC. Defendants in the forfeiture application for the property listed as Plot 13, Block 2, Oniru Chieftaincy Family Private Estate, Lake Lagos, and said to be worth 325.4 million naira, are Dazani, Mr. Donald Chief Amangu, and Mess Group LLC. Ruling on the case, Justice Aluko said, Upon reading affidavit in support of the motion paper sworn by the Babana Job of Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, of 15A Awolowo Road, Ikoyi, Lagos State, and the court having heard AO, it is hereby ordered as follows that a final order is hereby granted for fitting the property and asset listed and described in the scheduled hearing to the federal government of Nigeria. <laughs>